so uh everything is re-blooming again which i guess is nice and actually where it had been um laying over the yard it decided to restart from seed and they might let it expand because why not i realize this thing actually has nice big orange flowers so great um so the drama for this week is my fridge died and um i know it's always kind of a mini disaster when that happens i think i mean the main casualties of the fridge are the liverwurst and salami but quite honestly i don't think i would have finished those by the time that i would have had to chuck them the real tragedy is all of the the garden stuff that I had frozen that I was saving for the winter so that makes me a little sad so I chucked the bag so the compost has been getting lots of donations so I chucked the bag of sorrel and dandelions also the small amount of zucchinis that I had gotten this year off of this guy who's already dying right because I only had this one plant survive so the small amount of zucchinis I had and maybe one other thing. I got a couple bags of ice yesterday. Oh, I guess there's a plane coming. I'll pause. So I got a couple bags of ice. I put most of it in the fridge and then a small bowl of it in the freezer. Um, I'm glad I had that mini freezer that I could shift stuff into, but I had so much stuff that I wanted to save like tomatoes. I am saving my garden tomatoes. Those are too delicious to chuck. And once they're frozen, I mean, all you can really do with it is cook, but I can't cook a big vat of stuff right now, right? Because it'll go bad without being able to put it in the fridge. So um, I shoved the tomatoes in there, my nice stash of the good butter, uh, <laughs> jalapeno cheddar Johnsonville sausages. Because <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know how long it was out. I... I went to my kitchen just to kind of walk around because I, I keep getting woken up by that nerve pain in the wee hours of the morning, right? So I went down to the kitchen just to walk around because that usually helps a little bit. And I noticed something flashing against the wall. And I think I'm used to it being like the timer on the microwave. But then I noticed it was the fridge and I looked up hey, what does it mean when the temperature on the fridge is flashing and it means the fridge is above 60 degrees? Uh-oh. So that's why I chucked all of the meat and all of the cream cheese and stuff. It's... I thought I had a stash for the winter, but I guess I don't. Um, I'm glad I went through pickling all of that stuff. Um, I don't even know how long that fridge was broken because I swear I'd maybe seen something flashing in the kitchen the day before um, I finally was brave enough to open the freezer yesterday and some of the stuff seemed a little bit softer than it should be then I remembered I'd gotten that bucket of ice cream maybe last week and it was never really frozen solid so who knows I I did keep that freezer at 8 degrees Fahrenheit because it kept things way 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 cold so why not um, so I moved everything into that small freezer. It was so shoved full that I had to tie a thing around it to keep the door closed. Like the good butter. I'm not getting rid of the good butter. It was on sale, two for one. The, the, the Kerrygold, because I like baking and you, you want a good butter with it. Um, so I've saved, I've saved the nice frozen asparagus and mushrooms that I had and maybe some jalapenos. Um, I guess the yeast will go without being frozen for a couple of weeks. Hopefully it des doesn't decide to, to take off uh, with thawing condensation in the containers. We'll see. Um, I ordered something new because of the supply chain. Everything is getting screwed up everywhere. It's not coming for two weeks. But... I'm just gonna say I'm glad I pickled a lot of things. So, um, it's supposed to be in the 40s at night out here, like mid to low 40s in the next week, so it might finally be done. Look at my surviving pepper. I am so proud of it. This is that blot pepper. 
so I'm still toying with the idea of pulling it out of the ground and trying to grow it inside. Peppers get transplant shock pretty badly though. I'm, I have no idea why they don't take off for me until the end of the season here. I'm glad I'm getting one pepper. I guess I'm eating it fresh sometime this week because I don't even have a freezer to chuck it into. Um, today might be my final sweep of tomatoes, so I'm going to pick everything. Like, those those guys that are even a little bit red, I'm going to pick everything that even has a little bit of blush on it. And uh, I guess I'm having lots of tomatoes today. Uh, stuff like sorrel is still good out here after it's a little bit cold. I'm glad that I dried out a lot of stuff on my counters, like these chives and a lot of the basil. Oh, and I think these might be pansies. The posies that I had planted, I, I really can't recognize them by the leaves, but they might be in the mulch. I, I think this is that maypop. I have mustard, I have strawberries, no idea who this guy is. Might be radishes, who knows. And I'm pretty sure I have carrots growing in here from the seeds too. So the eggs that I had in my fridge, because I had a dozen and a half eggs. Ooh, look at that nice bird. So I had a dozen and a half eggs too. It's a crying shame that I had to get rid of them, uh, especially considering inflation coming for us. But luckily it was only like two bucks. Um, so I cracked them into the beds. So I actually buried a bunch of them in here. I was wondering how I was going to get any sort of nutrition into the soil because digging compost in with lots of carrots all over the place from those carrot heads seemed like a bad idea because I definitely want more carrots in my life. So I just dug a couple holes and buried the, the eggs in here. Um, I think my loofah is almost ripe, if not actually ripe. I'm just going to keep letting it hang. Same with that nice big gargantuan gourdy guy. That nice one in there too. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, and I don't know if I told you last time because I had uh, pre-filmed because my back was feeling super bad, right? I put these broad beans out. These are broad beans. Um, and then I also planted a more green and some of the red cabbages inside to get started even though I think it might be too late in the season because the packet had said something like 8 to 12 weeks before the frost and I think it's coming sooner than that but we'll see how it works out if we kind of had a way early last frost then maybe we'll have a way late uh, first frost. We'll, we'll see. It was only a couple of seeds worth. Oh and I planted some of those white dandelions. I'd ordered white dandelions too. So I've got the trifecta of yellow, pink, and white. What else? What else did we do? Oh, I ordered some saffron crocuses because I can't help myself, right? So, uh, in one of the, no, two of the front beds, I went rooting around for sweet potatoes. I found like one twice the size of my thumb sweet potato and then I transplanted the rest of the plant into a pot because it had the starts of some small sweet potatoes and maybe I'll grow it inside over the winter and see what happens. So I put some of the saffron crocus bulbs, I don't know if you can, I think there's a little steak. Um, I put them in here with that, I guess this is a gooseberry based on the thorns, the one that I started over the summer in my cellar. And then the, the red strawberry and then one of the rest of the volunteers from, you know, the ridiculous pile of strawberries I have everywhere. Um, I figure I'll put berry bushes into this one too when they show up in the spring, right? Because I had reordered, what's it called? The honey berries that had died back because I don't actually have a second one to match the blooming season of the ones that did survive. So there's no way that I would ever get honey berries. I, I hear them. I hear the birds. Are they behind me? So, um... I had reordered some honey berries and then also um, I have a replacement salmon berry coming and then I, I ordered, um, what's it called? They're not cloud berries, they're something else. They're supposedly orange. Oh, sea berries. Sea berries. I had ordered some sea berries. So this one already has a berry bush. This one's going to get a berry bush. Um, there are medieval veggies in some of those pots up there, so hopefully they sprout. 
um, I left I left the one sweet potato that I still have back here I don't know if you can tell that it's in there like right there with the strawberries in there um, to see if I can't actually get sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving so I'm trying to avoid the grocery stores there the only thing gone from the grocery stores here right now that I noticed is uh, ball pickling jars lids and white vinegar everything else was in stock the last time that I went but of course I don't look for everything right because I don't eat everything um, but other other pictures that people are posting let's show you the nice flowers other pictures that people are posting make it look like there's some stores that are completely bare out there which I mean that bites for those people I'm I'm glad that somehow I got a house and started a garden at exactly the right time I I, I don't know what sort of horseshoe of good luck is implanted in my body, but I'm glad it I'm glad it worked. See all those carrots. So the mints are dying back. The shiso is all seed stalks. I've been trying to shake it out over its own pot. Uh, I don't know what is nibbling on this asparagus. I don't know if I have like a squirrel that's getting in or what. Maybe it's some sort of bug. Maybe it's um one of those swallowtail caterpillars or something, right? I don't, I don't know if they would go for this because it's sort of dill shaped and they eat dill or not. Uh, these last couple of pumpkins, hopefully they don't need it too hot to ripen because they're not going to get it. Every once in a while I keep, oh, I keep getting an okra. I think, I think I put my bag of okra in that small freezer too because I'm not giving that up. So the tomatoes, the okra, maybe some patty pan squashes, the butter, sausages. Um, I found cranberries at the store, so I'd stashed them in my freezer, right, a week ago. But with the freezer dead, my fridge died, then, uh, life is rough. <laughs> so two of them are in my fridge, literally on a bowl of ice. Two of them are in that small freezer. Uh, I hope I have, you know, they might have thawed a little bit. Ho hopefully getting refrozen is okay. Basically it bites, even when it's okay it bites. So these are those walking onions, the Egyptian walking onions. I had to, you see that orange string? I had to tie up this marigold because it was taking over and they were getting absolutely no light. They were edulated or however you pronounce that. So now, now they have some light. Life is pretty okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, mosquito on my screen. I don't know if I'm gonna pick more of this basil because it's all gone to bloom. I don't know if I should pick those underripe tongue twos. Probably not, huh? Oh, I guess there's finely powdery mildew on these pumpkins. Well, definitely is end of season. Uh, don't know if that's aphids, but I'm guessing. Don't know where the um, ladybugs are. I know I've seen some of them, but maybe they're busy other places. So, I guess I'll go get my basket and pick a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> Nothing happened, but a lot happened this week, so um, maybe next time things will have died back. We'll see. We'll see. Ho hopefully, even though I don't think it'll come by then, hopefully by that point I'll have a new fridge again. Okay. Uh, gonna get my basket. Gonna eat a lot of tomatoes today. Till next week.